and Audette, your Sensi Superstar Director, here to celebrate day 26! We're almost there! You guys have almost done this! Okay, so imagine, I want you guys to close your eyes for a second. I want you to imagine you're driving down this road and there's this, it's this cute little farm road. You're in the country and you're driving and you're driving and then all of a sudden, bam! There is a purple cow, a big, bright, beautiful purple cow on the side of the road. What do you do? Do you just keep driving by and you say, oh, I saw a purple cow today? Uh, no. You stop your car, you get out, you start taking pictures, you start taking selfies. You might even go on Facebook Live and be like, oh my gosh, people, look at what's happening. I'm driving down the road and there is a purple cow on the side of the road. You're going to take all those pictures that you took of yourself. You're going to post them on Instagram, on Pinterest. You're going to post them on Facebook. You're going to Twitter. You're going to tweet. <laughs> You're going to put them on Twitter. You're going to tweet about it. You are going to do everything you can because it's amazing how cool this cow is. This cow got you excited. So my question is, are you a Sensi Purple Cow? Are you somebody that everybody just can't wait to see because you are so, so positive and they just love that you're their Sensi Consultant? Angie Williams, who's a superstar director, um, who's been in Sensi, gosh, for... Um, I'm guessing 12 years, long time. She's, she's a very, very successful. She actually, her team name is the Purple Cows because this is what they do. They work really hard to set themselves apart to make themselves a little bit different. So um, let's see, do you, so as a Purple Cow, sorry, I just wrote a couple of notes down because of course I don't ever follow my notes and, I'm, and I lose track. So a Scentsy Purple Cow, are you a Scentsy Purple Cow? That's kind of my little theme here. Or do you stand out? Do you, does everybody know about you? Does everybody know you want to build a Scentsy team? Do your people know this? So this is super duper duper important. You guys all want to become lead. What do you need to become lead? We've talked about this. You need a recruit, at least one. one. You want way more. I will tell you my personal story and I don't ever share to brag. I just want you guys to know, I hope to inspire you to always go for a little more. So I got my first, um, I got a couple, when I decided, you heard my story about Patty Lynch, um, she approached me about joining and I was like, what? So she approached me, I ended up getting a couple of recruits that month after her, I'm like, well, she's gonna join, I might as well ask other people too, because people are gonna join, I might as well have it under me. So. Um, I skipped lead. That's my point. That's what I'm going to say. So I went from essential to star pretty quickly. Sorry, I actually did hit certified. So I was certified and then I went right to star because so you guys know what it takes to hit lead. Well, to hit star, you know that 1000 GWV that you need group wholesale to hit lead, you need 2500 to hit lead. I mean star, sorry. You need 2500 to get to hit star. Well, if you have a bunch of people on your team, it's going to be really easy to get to 2,500 group wholesale volume. So anyway, um, what was my point? Are you memorable? Do people know that you want to build your Sensi team? So I love to tell the story of the amazing Melanie Hall. You guys have probably heard my story before, but by the way, you've probably heard this too. I got Mel Melanie is my frontline superstar director because of an $8 party, which you would probably call a flop that I had way long ago. So I had a Scentsy party, nobody showed up at her house. I didn't have a great feeling about going in the first place. She told me that there probably weren't gonna be very many people there, like any, and I was like, that's all right, I'll still come. I went, I walked in, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm wasting my time, I'm here, I could be you know, home with my kids, and, but you know what, Jen, there's a reason you're supposed to be here is what I told myself, so I stayed, had an $8 party, the hostess ended up joining my team. The hostess recruited Melanie Hall. The hostess is long gone. Melanie Hall is my frontline, right under me, superstar director. So anyway, the point of my story was, I love this story. Melanie's, okay, I think I'm gonna finally get it right for the first time. Melanie's sister was shopping in a grocery store and she was standing, uh, waiting her turn to get some sandwich meat. And the, the lady that was ahead of her was, you know, asking the person to add basically like something like this, add one piece of, um, of turkey at a time to see what the price was because she was on a very strict budget and she couldn't go over. So she got her meat and then Melanie Hull's sister approached her and said, hey, my sister um, has a business and she's always looking for people and she's really inspiring and she would love to help you. So she actually approached this woman for Melanie. How cool is that? 
How amazing is that? Does your spouse do that for you? Does your best friend, does your mom, does your dad, does everybody you know know that you want to build a Sensi team? Make sure you guys know this. So anyway, we want you to be, I want you to be a purple cow. So I'm gonna give you eight tips on some things that you can do to become a purple cow. So you're just gonna write these down in your little notebook. Because remember, this notebook is so valuable to you later when you go back. Even right now, I bet you're flipping back and you're like, oh my gosh, look at how much stuff I have here. Um, okay, so eight, wait, eight ways to become a Scentsy Purple Cow. Number one, on-time deliveries. Deliver your stuff on time, people. I hear all the time. Jen, can you get, can, do you have any of this or can you order this for me? I, you know, my sister sells Scentsy, but it takes me forever to get anything from her. So, um, yeah, can you just order it? Please don't tell her. I hear it all the time. Please don't tell my Scentsy person, but she takes forever. Um, seriously, guys. And that's, again, mobile office light bulbs that's a big one i've been asking my um my whomever for light bulbs for months and she just doesn't get them to me so guys be on time um let's see remember i always tell my people it's 10 day it's a 10 day business uh 10 bleh. remember our shipping is 10 business days that doesn't count that doesn't count holidays and that doesn't count weekends so keep that in mind so i see people even post on our team pages all the time why isn't that stuff it's it, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. Well, it's going to come in 10 business days. Just remember that if it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or, or if it's um, Martin Luther King Day or whatever the holiday, that day doesn't count. And we use UPS and weekends don't count. So 10 business days, no holidays, no weekends, just regular days. Okay, so be on time. Number two, keep your promises. If you post, hey, anybody who, who places a Sensi order, I'm going to give you three free samples. Give them the three free samples. Don't forget, make a note, use stickies, whatever works for you. Put it in your phone, put it in your calendar, put it on post-it notes, um, whatever you have to remember. Go back to that post and look and see who liked it. Oh, she liked it. So she knew that I was going to give the three free samples. Um, they asked for a catalog. Bring the catalog. If you don't have time to bring it, put it in the mail. Just keep your promises. Number three, be the convenient rep. So be the person that is convenient. So be the person that if somebody says, you know what, I really need some black raspberry vanilla, like now. Be that person that they're like, oh, Jen will have it. So, so they call you and get it to them. One thing I always offer is anytime anybody picks anything up at my house, I say, if you want to pick it up on my house, at my house, I leave it on my porch and I always, and you get a free scent circle to make your car smell good for driving all the way to my house. So I keep a stash of scent circles and that's one thing. I always tie it to the outside of the bag and I give that to them. So that is a gift from me for coming to my house. And let me tell you how nice it is to have all these people because they all want their free scent circles and they know if I go to Jen's house, she's going to give me a scent circle. So that's one thing that I've really helped to, because my time is so valuable. So that's helped me a lot. Um, Let's see, number four, reward loyalty. So important, people. When people reorder from you, it's such a big deal. They have so many choices. They can go online, just like Amazon Prime, for example. Like, it's so much easier for me to buy um, whatever. I have a lip gloss right here. It's easier for me to go online and buy this lip gloss than to drive all the way to the store. Well, if I drive all the way to the store, this particular, let's say, because this is Sephora, say I go to, I drive to Sephora, nobody really necessarily, the last time I went there made me feel special. I actually feel a little bit guilty because I do own a home business. I kind of feel bad when I shop on Amazon. But if I go to a store and they didn't really give me anything special, then I'm just going to order it online next time because, you know, it's free shipping. Like, why would I drive all the way to the store? So you have to remember that. You want people to use you, not go on Sensi.com and get some random consultant because chances are they often don't use your website, which is why we're working so hard to make sure your website is all over everything. So I've made, I've beat that dead horse, I think you could say, website on everything, everything that leaves your house. Um, what else? Reward, reward loyalty. So kind, some ways to reward loyalty. That's hard to say. Try to say that fast. Reward loyalty. Um, some ways to do that. They have punch cards. You can give them a punch. You can give them your business card and do a, a punch every time. Make sure you have a, like a fun little puncher. You can order that on Amazon Prime. Um, you could like every however much they spend. Get go on Pinterest or on um, yeah any of any of the things. Thanks a latte. Give them a five dollar gift card to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks or whatever, and just write thanks a latte. You've been such a great customer. I really appreciate you. You're probably going to spend less by sending that to them than saying, okay, after 10 punches, I'm going to give you 
$10 in free Scentsy or one half price warmer or whatever. Like there's so many different ways to reward. Just do it. If you hear that um, Susie, your neighbor, who's your great Scentsy consultant, loves chocolate chip cookies, go buy her some, go make, go, don't go buy, make her some chocolate chip cookies if you're good at baking. Okay. Um, anything else I can think of? Number five, go the extra mile with your hostess rewards. So take advantage of your hostess rewards. I will often, like if a hostess, for example, um, gets, she's low on money and she just wants to get a scent circle for $1.50, I will personally add that scent circle into the order and get something for myself. I'll get like a six pack of wax. So I'm only paying $15 instead of 30. And then I have six bars of wax that I can give away as hostess rewards. So anytime I do a home party or any kind of party, I always spoil the hostess, especially at a home party. I make it fun and cute and wrapped up and frilly so that other people are like, oh, I want to do a party with Jen because I want to get what she gets. You know, when I, what my hostess got, when I package orders, I make my orders, whoops, I make my orders super cool. Like I put so much stuff, I buy candy. I just totally unplugged my computer. I buy candy um, at BJ's. Sorry, like this is that important. Um, sorry, I buy candy at BJ's. I try not to do chocolate because we used to do chocolate and if you add chocolate into your orders, it makes it, it kind of absorbs the smell so it doesn't really taste very good. So it's kind of a waste of money. So hard candy or lollipops or dum-dums or whatever. Um, I add candy, I add samples, I put a bow on the outside, I do all of that. I think I'm going to talk about, yeah, I was going to say something else, but I think that's my next one. Okay, so you're going the extra mile with your hostess rewards, just make sure that you're really accumulating lots of hostess rewards. Number six, thank you cards. Use thank you cards. I handwrite, that's what I was about to say, a thank you card to every single person that has ever purchased anything from me online, at parties. Um, fundraisers, everything, they all get a handwritten card. In the beginning, I used to go to the dollar store. They have great little note cards for a dollar. You can get 10 or 12 of them for one dollar. I would write them there. Now what I do is, this print is just the best. So what I do now is, these are just two of my thank you cards. So this one just says, it's, and these are already pre-made at Vistaprint, by the way. I just pick the print and add my own information. Thank you for your business. My family and I appreciate you so much with all my information. And then on the back it says, do you know of an organization who needs to raise money? Let me help. I do fundraisers at the bottom, but this is blank because this is where I handwrite my note to them. This one is just real simple. It's not as per it's not as personalized. I'm trying really hard now. I didn't used to put my picture on everything. Now I try to put my picture on everything. My family and I appreciate you. Thanks for your business. When you choose Sensei, you support local families. We are so thankful for you. Then on the back is all of my information, and I handwrite on that. Um, also, another really great idea that I love that Emily Bain uses for home parties is, and hopefully I can remember to post this. Let me write this down so that I don't forget. Um, Emily's check. So Emily's check. So what she does, she actually created a document where you can go on and you can print out. It's also on the positive chat. So if you write um, em check or something, if you search check, it should come right up. But um, it's, it's a, a, a pretend sensi check that says pay to the order of, and you write out the name of the hostess and what your commission was. So she will do that and then write her thank you, her thank you notes on the back of that. So let's say the, your commission from that party was $125. So on the front, write out, and then on the back, you can you know, write out $125. On the back, dear Sarah, thank you so much for attending the Scentsy party. If you had been the consultant, you would have earned $125 at this party, or you, so you can put the customer's name or the hostess's name or whatever. I would do the customer's name. And just thank you so much, and you know, this is what you would have earned. I appreciate you. Don't forget, I do, par I do fundraisers, and I do this and that and the other thing. Okay, so that was number six. Number seven, we have two more. Share recipes. So this is really cool. Go to the dollar store or go wherever and buy recipe cards. And at the top where it says, um, from the kitchen of, right, Jen Audette, your Scentsy consultant. And then do some, go on Pinterest, just Google Scentsy recipes. There are tons. So, um, for example, I think it's like French lavender and newborn nursery mixed together makes a scent called lullaby. So you can just write that out. And if you get, if you really have the time and, and you can do this, 
make it, make a sample. So I'll do that. I take my molds and I add, um, I'll first pour in a little bit of one cent. I try to do the darker color on the bottom, the lighter color on top. So I'll pour the one cent into my molds, let them sit for a little bit. Then I warm up the next scent and pour it on. And I've done three or four at a time. So teaching people to mix scents. So then you take that sample, you put it in a little bag, you staple it to your recipe card. And of course, on your recipe card, you're also going to put your label and maybe even like a little, you are, my, you are one of my favorite people or whatever you want to write on the back. That's number seven. Number eight, very last tip is be unforgettable. Make sure people think of you as the Scentsy Purple Cow. Do you always wear your name tag? You don't have to, but that might be your jive. Do you wear Scentsy shirts? Do you wear a Scentsy hat? Do you work? Throw something on your lunchbox that says, I am Scentsy. Um, just make sure that you stand out. We talked before about being Susie the Scentsy consultant, not Susie that works at TD Bank or Susie that this or Susie that that. So really work on that. So here are some great tips for you. I hope you took something from this um, on becoming a Scentsy Purple Cow. Please tag your captain in the comments below so that they know that you watched this. Um, you don't necessarily have a, um, uh, an assignment from this, but put some of these into effect, right? Do this and let us know what you've decided to take from this video and implement into your, video, into your business. So I'll tag your, your um, captain and write what you're going to do. So if you are going to hop on Vistaprint and make yourself some quick thank you cards, go for it. Tell us that. Say, I'm going to make Vistaprint um, postcards or I'm going to implement a new loyalty program where after they've spent $100, they're going to get something special from me, whatever it is that you want. All right, have a great day. Ooh, I gotta hit the button.